sabudo sabudo sekengre je batenda tuima tuima na mukazano wa bivako sote singa na mu I'm a student of Bodoin Senior Centre, and as you can see, most in sports, Bodo has been winning most of the of the trophies. So, um, let me cut your story. Um, what inspired you to come to Bodoin SS? Because um, I heard that you are at Chitende SS. That what inspired you to come to Bodoin SS? Actually, at Chitende there weren't much in sports, and they couldn't activate much in the so when I came to I usually had mamas that were doing the best in sports and everything. So I told my parents about this school and they were like, next time you bring me. So when I came to this school, I was inspired because as you can see, there are very many pictures, you can paint, uh, coat of the coat and well then. Okay, so like what's your favorite sport and like who inspired you to do that to be your favorite sport? My favorite sport is netball. In the like in the players of netball in Buda SS, um, who inspired you to be like yeah netball yeah? Actually, I have my classmate in Senator Central. She's called the Wake Day Grace. So like in her in her playing, I always observe her. She has many skills and she can really play very well. So I was attracted by her skills to enter the netball academy. Okay, like so, as in your thinking, like, do you think that sports has someone to take in Uganda? Like, can a person take a sport as a job to, to carry out in Uganda? Because people are like, sports is nothing. People say that if you play football, people are like, you're, you're poor, you don't have money. Like, do you, in your thinking as a student, like, as you see these footballers, because I heard that we have a footballer called Jamal, as you see, is football taking Jamal somewhere or it's going to end here in Buda Actually, that's why in this school they teach us football. It's education. They train you how to run, how to play different games. So in that process, you get you get very many benefits. Like even us walking right now, like walking, it's doing a physical exercise. So without physical exercises, you can't live in the world. Even sometimes when you get danger, you have to run. But if you didn't train how to run when you're on your head, you can't run very fast to get away from that. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, uh, our dear beloved student. And actually, uh, can you please repeat your name for our dear beloved viewers? Um, thank you so much for your time. Now, may, may like, can you please share with us the greetings to everyone in this school and tell them to go to our YouTube channel, subscribe for MB Media and MA Soccer Academy and Budo Soccer Academy. Thank you so much, our dear beloved viewers. Bye bye. Good evening, our fellow viewers. And my name is Nakamura Ben Mahar from MA Company. And as you can see, I'm at Mudo Secondary School with one of the students, um, Madam Mosini. Yeah. So as I came through the gate, I had the drums meeting. Like, what's going on in your school? The drum is hard for MD competition, which are being made for the houses in the school. Yes. So like. They are not in between classes, but they are between houses. And houses, how many are they and what are they? There are four houses. Zambia, Nigeria, South Africa, and Morocco. So like, according to order that you've given them, like, which house do you think will win in this evening? According to my expectations, Zambia and win because they are putting a lot of effort and their patrons are very open. But before I had that, there were sports competitions. So like, which house won? Last time, Zambia was the first, but this time I don't know because Morocco is trying to come up with some strategies we have not yet understood. So, like, do you think Morocco is going to overtake Zambia in some ways? I think most of them will take their first place, their first place actually, because they are both trying, like, I think the competition is uh, between the two of them. They are trying to compete against each other. So like, when is your MDD? 
like how when are you going to present them and what items are you going to be involved in? We are going to present our items on Saturday and that's what we will do. We are going to present dancing, music, mining, the school are going to sing the same place and so on. So as a member of Zambia, what are you going to do in the top? 